All right. What's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We're taking a look at ticker symbol Jumia, uh, J-M-I-A. Um, and this one was a viewer request. That's why we're making that video. So if you have any stocks you would want me to analyze, give you a look at, some technical analysis, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to do that. All right. So um, here is why I think there is a possible bottom at Jumia on $2.15. Okay. Now, <clears throat> it definitely can go much lower than $2.15. And um, in all honesty, it most likely probably will. Um, I think that, you know, it's going to be a rough market for the next year, at least two, uh, maybe even three for the stock market. And especially companies like Jumia, um, you know, that aren't very well established and aren't really super profitable and, um, you know, that type of stuff. OK, so the reason that I have these support levels down here and I can't even believe that we're how low we've fallen. I originally thought that like maybe 1078 might be a bottom. Um, but you know, I went back, uh, or later, um, in the past in the chart and I found some lows, um, and I made some support levels at these lows and they're pretty valid right now. Okay. Um, so we've got the levels we're looking at is 679, 5.2, 3.51 and 215, right? We're looking at the one year daily chart right now. So each of these candlesticks is representing a day. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom out to the three year weekly chart. Okay. And I want to show you just a couple things that happened here. All right. Um, so the main thing that we're going to be looking at, all right, um, is going to be this bottom right here, this low of 215. So in the past three years, this is our bottom. Okay. Um, so that doesn't mean that we can't go lower than this level, but this is going to be a critical breaking point, a make or break point, right? Where, where you're going to see some people step in and we're going to rally again and, you know, recover from this low. Or, um, you know, it'll be a breaking point and, you know, that'll be the point where people will be like, all right, I'm just done. I'm selling this thing completely. Right. Um, another thing I wanted to look at, OK, was this overall trend line that we broke here. All right. So if we look at the grand scheme of the Jumia stock price, OK, it went from 215 and then it just went on the parabolic run all the way up to 70 almost. OK. Um, <clears throat> and when you do that, things can pull back very hard and still be an uptrend right um so you know we could have seen this um come and do something similar um let's say it fell down here okay and we had a very big drop boom and then we would have bounced off of that uh this trend line right here off of these lows this low and this low we still had the chance of possibly recovering right here but we broke that trend line and now we've 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 you know essentially broken the uptrend OK, and we have um, started a downtrend. All right. So I wouldn't look for this to um, reverse anytime soon. I mean, in the in the next few years, um, you know, I would be surprised if this thing came back up to 10, 11, 15, 18 at the highest. Um, you know, I think that it's going to be pretty rough. And, you know, hopefully for Jumia, um, they can find a bottom in here around 215. Um, you know, these previous lows that we've had. Um, you know, because that's the lowest that the stock's ever gone. But if we're really heading towards a recession and things like that, you have to realize that, you know, there's going to be a lot of stocks that are going to make new all time lows. Right. And so what you have to do is you have to ask yourself, um, you know, what do I like about this company? Why do I want to invest in this company? Um, and, you know, what am I going to be looking for in the future as like signs of good progress and things like that? Um, you know, so always definitely take that into consideration. All right. Especially with the current market conditions, um, you know, it's going to be very rough and we may, um, if it doesn't fall lower than 215, you may just see it accumulate and you may see some consolidation, some sideways trading between $2 and, and $6 up here. All right. You know, we could just hover in this area, um, you know, for the next six months or for the next two years. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard to tell. Nobody can predict the future, but Jumia does have earnings coming up soon. And um, earnings has, has not been the best for it. All right. Um, so just keep that in mind. And it'll be really interesting to see what happens with Jumia. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what stocks you guys want me to analyze in the uh, comment section below. Okay.